welcome to another video about the web gone way. This one is all about our remote work applications. Let's talk about remote work. Some organizations have been doing this a long time. Depends on the person, depends on the company, depends on the work. But one thing is for absolute certain, remote work has increased in a big, big way, and it shows no signs of stopping anytime soon. There will certainly come a time when people return to the office in large numbers, but even when it happens, remote work is here to stay. In fact, it's not a stretch to say remote work is the new normal. And that means we need to pivot. Remote work can't just be possible. It needs to be practical, productive, permanent. Email and communications technology, those were survival skills. What we need to focus on now are business processes. We need to be able to operate and thrive as a distributed workforce. So we at WebCon talked to our partners, customers, looked at our own experiences. We've been going through this too. Remote work just can't be an ad hoc thing anymore. There are so many processes that we take for granted that work just fine when we are all located in the same place. They don't work that well when people are distributed. A lot of things get forgotten. Stuff gets missed. Mistakes get made. More money being spent, time being spent, lots of unhappy people. So WebCon has built a series of applications around distributed workforces. Let's check them out. It's a nice collection and it will evolve. It includes an employee profile solution, a time clock solution, task assignments and tracking. It includes things like document distribution and read consent tracking. It includes a mail room solution for physical mail. It includes something to handle procurement requests from the employee's point of view. It includes a help desk solution because no package of solutions would be complete without something like that. And then we tie it all together in a nice comprehensive employee dashboard. Why don't we take a look at each one of these applications in turn? And I can think of no better place to begin than the employee profile application. It's important to be able to collect information on who works for you, where they are, and how to reach them. And yes, if this were in Active Directory, we can and would just use it. But there are a number of companies for which Active Directory is little more than usernames and passwords. And what's more, we need to collect information on how capable you are of working from home so that we might be able to do something to help. We also want to know something that we would normally see just by looking out the door of our office, which is, are you in? When should we expect you? So from day to day, from location to location, tell us where you're going to be so that we could reliably know when to check to see if you're online. Of those hours where you said you're working and use a time clock solution. This is designed to render onto managers and employees alike. So it's lightweight. Punch in, we know when you started, as little data entry as possible, and everything will get flagged. What's more, you could report on the tasks you're performing throughout the day. They're either in your task lists or you can create them yourselves. And we'll again minimize the amount of data entry you can do. But this has the great effect of documenting everything you've done, which comes in extremely handy at review time. You can say I'm working on a project, come back hours later, punch out, and you're done. It just works, and it's low impact. Most tasks have an assignee, a due date, a completion status, maybe a priority. But life is more complicated than that. Here is a list of all tasks assigned to me, but notice that I can keep track of related subtasks, and I can log all the work that I'm performing on a task, and I can create subtasks and assign them in turn to other people and keep track of all of it in one place and combine those tasks with all tasks across all applications. If you need to send a document to everybody and make sure they read it and possibly provide consent or refusal on it, 
That's what the document distribution solution is for. This is a heck of a lot better than posting a notice in the break room or sending out an all point email and keeping track of read receipt messages. You attach documents, you track everything. The employees see a task, they click on a document that they're meant to read, they open it up, preview it or download it, take a look at it, and then acknowledge or provide consent. Physical mail still matters. And here I am in the mailroom sending out an item to have somebody tell me whether or not they want me to forward it to them, scan it, or leave it on their desk. From the point of view of the employee, it's even easier. They see incoming mail requests, open them up, review what's going on, and decide what they want the mailroom to do with it. Reply, and you're done. And then when you want to send outgoing mail, you can combine a attachments to be printed with stock items to be put in envelopes, addressed, and sent out. And if you need to scan them for archival purposes, great. This is the missing piece of the procurement process, where the employees ask their managers to order stuff for them. This used to be done with informal conversations or emails, but there's a lot to track in a work from home scenario. So I send out a request and my manager sees a number of things that she can act on. Now, this is a simple process. We mean for it to be modified to link to other processes. You'll see that later. If you already have a help desk solution, fine, but we've got one that's part of the package that's nice. It's designed to be low impact on users. Give your case a title, indicate a category, a priority. Provide a little bit of a description as to what is going on and what the problem is. And then when you're ready, submit it and it'll go directly to the help desk. At which point someone there can pick it up, evaluate it, determine how it should be classified, and who are the best people to get involved in taking care of the case. And then when it gets assigned to somebody, then they can go ahead and start working on the case with 100% of the contact info and the details of the task. It just works. And finally, tying it all together, back in the employee profile application is a complete employee dashboard that shows you everything, your time clock, your tasks, your log time, any documents you have to read, consent requests, incoming and outgoing mail, everything in one place. And if you'd like to see that in a familiar place like Microsoft Teams or SharePoint, you can have all of this at your fingertips. And if you'd like to look at individual applications, they're there. If you'd like to simply see all of your tasks across all applications combined in one friendly place and move amongst them, that's easy too. Obtaining these applications and setting everything up is not hard. If you're an existing customer, it's just an application import file. Download them, import them, and you're done. If you aren't a customer yet, you can try us out for free, forever. We have a freemium version of our product called Webcon BPS Express. It's got 95% of the full product's functionality. It's limited to 10 gigabytes of storage, but otherwise it just works. Download it, install it on a virtual machine or a physical machine in the cloud or on-premises, download the apps and you're ready. And if you want to use our software as a service multi-tenant offering, just sign up and start using an extended trial. The applications are pre-installed very movable. You can migrate them from on-premises to online, from one tenant to another, from shared to dedicated. It's up to you. Each one of these solutions is meant to be changed, evolved, customized, transformed by you. They're not static. You can change everything instantly. Let's go behind the scenes and take a look at our designer studio. This is the process that you saw before for employee procurement requests. I'm modifying it here so that 
the manager can click one button on the form that they've received and that will launch what they think of as the real procurement process the one where they interact with our ordering system and actually buy something the trigger goes from one process to another and it's going to change the manager's form so that they just click a button they go to the order screen when they click finished it comes back here and moves back along the process to notify the user. We just saved this, so let's try it out on a form that I submitted a couple of days ago. My manager now sees the option to launch the procurement form from here. That's instant change, and it's great. To sum up, when you take employee profiles and time clock and mailroom and procurement and help desk, and document distribution and tasks and you add that up you get a wonderful way to workflow the webcon way thank you very much for watching this and if you'd like to know more just head over to www.webcon.com